my beautiful humans, thank you for joining me on another episode here on Creative Street. Today's episode is a short one and a very special one. It is the day before Thanksgiving. Um, I realize that this holiday, number one, is not celebrated by the whole world. It's only celebrated by the United States. And it really tries to celebrate a moment in history where... Humans try to be humans and, you know, care for one another and and try to, you know, help each other. And they were taken advantage of. So it's not really a day of great celebration, in my opinion. However, I do recognize that Thanksgiving is a great holiday and a great opportunity to show thanks and appreciation for those around us those loved ones and the family members that we don't always have in the forefront of our minds to say thank you to. So I did want to make a special kind of episode where instead of a Thanksgiving special, number one, I'm first generation Hispanic, so my family doesn't even really celebrate Thanksgiving. They celebrate um, sanguing. <laughs> uh, we're Hispanic. That's not a thing in Cuba. It's not a thing in Honduras. It's something that my parents started celebrating here um, once they moved to the United States because it's part of the American culture and they had American children. And so they wanted their children to um, grow up with the same customs that the rest of the Americans had. However, as someone who's grown in up in this culture with two very different mindsets in sense of the Hispanic culture, along with going to school and learning about, you know, the atrocities that happened during that era of the United States, um, like, you know, establishment and stuff like that. I don't think it's appropriate to really celebrate Thanksgiving in that sense, but I do want it to be, I, I, I'm going to dub it human appreciation day. Because I do think it's important to at least take a moment, even if it's not every day, because none of us, everybody is like in their own, in their own world. And sometimes we get so caught up with things that we forget to appreciate those around us and to appreciate our family and appreciate what we have um, and say thank you for just all the blessings that we do have um, walking on this earth. I understand some are more blessed than others. However, I I believe that any blessing is worth acknowledging and worth appreciating, um, however small it may be. That being said, I wanted to, number one, say thank you to my family and to my friends that have supported this endeavor that I have um, started in, in terms of... uh, doing this podcast I really appreciate that and I wanted to also say thank you and acknowledge how much I appreciate you all the listeners for taking time out of your day to listen to what I have to say even if it's sometimes a little erratic um, I acknowledge that I'm working on it and and I realize all the ums and the rights it can get monotonous also I'm hoping that with the some new tips and tricks that I'm trying to learn, um, I'm going to change up a little bit what I'm going to be doing in this upcoming year in terms of videos and formatting. So I hope that's something that you all can look forward to and just be patient with me. Um, I am in the growing process. I do acknowledge that and I am getting better slowly but surely. However, Thank you always for listening and for taking the time out of your day to listen to what I have to say. Um, That being said, for Human Appreciation Day, I think that there's so many ways that we can acknowledge and, um, and appreciate each other and just say thank you to one another there. And there's so many ways of doing that. Right. And I think, and I think that one of those ways 
is number one, just verbal, right? Verbal acknowledgement, like I just finished doing, where I'm I'm acknowledging you all for, um, you know, taking time out of your day. Time is is very valuable to all of us, right? Time is not something you can get back. So I always appreciate um, whatever time you can give me. However, there's other ways of showing appreciation. There's other ways of showing that you're thankful for someone. Like, for instance, um, gift buying, right? And although I feel like there's like a stigma to being so materialistic and buying people presents, I think presents is one of the most thoughtful things you can do for someone especially when you know the person and you like know what really is going to resonate with them what they're going to like what they're really going to enjoy so for instance um i'll take i'll give you an example my mom my mom she um is someone that loves handbags she loves perfumes. She's very girly. She loves necklaces and I call them shiny things. Um, she likes shiny things. So she likes watches and rings and earrings and necklaces, etc. Anything shiny, that is her thing. My mom is not one to, however, like say, hey, I want this or I want that specifically. Um, unless it's something that she really, really, really has her eye on. She's not going to tell you. She's going to accept whatever it is that you can give her if it's anything. Sometimes my mom, what she wants is un cariño, like a, a hug and a kiss and, you know, words of acknowledgement and words of love. However, I do acknowledge that my mom's love language is definitely gifts. Like it makes her so happy. And believe me, she will wear it. She will wear um, whatever it is that you get her, whether it's a shirt um, a nightgown, uh, whatever you give her she and she can use, she will definitely use it, I promise you. Um, so, and I think that's important to kind of acknowledge in terms of your family members, like what's their love language? What's, what's something that you can do that you know will show them how much you care about them and how much you appreciate what they've done for you in your life and vice versa right um it's not always a one-way it's not a one-way street where you're always showing their appreciate appreciation for them and they're not showing any for you i always think that's like a important conversation and and it's obviously a two-way street um so don't just give 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 and then never expect something in return i i think that there are some things that you should do out of the kindness of your heart but when it comes to showing someone that you care about them it should never be a one-way street it should never feel like a one-way street it should always be a reciprocity so if you're not very vocal on what it is that you like or you're not sure um or maybe the people around you just really don't know how to express that gratitude and that thankfulness towards you. Sometimes it's, you got to verbalize, you got to articulate what it is that you expect from them and what you would like to see happen, right? Because I think it's, it's the onus on you to communicate and then put that ownership and that responsibility on them to either reciprocate to acknowledge or to communicate back what the limitations and their expectations are um that way there is no miscommunication that way there is no expectation that can't be me i'll give you an anecdote as a kid i remember always wanting let's say i want a toy but I'm not the type of person to tell you I want this. That's just not in me. Um, I expect people to just know me and, like, you know, uh, like buy it for me, right? Or like surprise me with it. Or, and then I I remember that as a kid I would set these expectations of like, oh, I'm not gonna tell, I'm not gonna tell them I want this, but I'm really hoping I get this. And I realize that that's, that's not the way to go about it, right? Because if, 
if I don't communicate that this is something I'm even interested in or something that I would like, how are they going to know? They're not mind readers. My parents aren't mind readers. My siblings aren't mind readers. They're even, even my partner, they're not mind readers. How could they know what I expect and what I would like if I'm not communicating to it, uh, to them? There's also because I, like, I tend to be very observant and in terms of, like, t- taking mental notes of what people like. So I always expect the same in return. However, I acknowledge not everybody is like that. And so I think it's important to have those type of conversations of what is your love language? What is a way that I can show my appreciation for you? And this is how you can show appreciation for me and show that, you know, you care about me. So like I mentioned, not necessarily that I celebrate Thanksgiving because number one in my family, it's Sun-giving. We don't have your typical turkey with cornbread and corn and the other thing like we don't we don't have that mashed potatoes that's that's weird but definitely in my family we have a puerco we have congri we have yuca and like you know platanitos that's really what that that celebration looks like but regardless because of the atrocities that are associated with it i don't recommend you celebrate necessarily thanksgiving But do use this day, do use this time where your family gets together and does like a meal together and and tries to look for that connection to really dive deep into showing each other how much you care about each other, Um, especially during these upcoming holidays, right? Uh, I personally celebrate Christmas with my family and we celebrate New Year's, so But whatever those holidays look like for you, because I understand that in every culture it's different, Um, everybody, every family unit celebrates very differently, whatever that looks like for you, definitely I hope and I recommend you take a moment to discuss and communicate with your loved ones how you would like to be shown that you are cared for. I think that's very important. And then... Try to learn how it is that you can show your care and love for this, for, for your family unit. Um, and just in these upcoming days where I hope, and I really, really hope that most of you, if not all of you, get to spend some quality time with those you love, with your friends, with your families, with those that are human just like you. That's it for today. I mentioned it's a short episode and because it is the holiday season, um, or at least this Thanksgiving break, I, I don't have the opportunity to really give you a quality content episode for Friday for the mini So we're going to go ahead and skip this Friday. I'm going to release just a quick reminder um, on Friday, just mentioning, hey, there's, there's no real... Um, episode just so that you guys are, are you know keep that in mind and wishing you again a happy human appreciation day i appreciate you all for taking the time to listen to me today and i really hope you enjoy these upcoming holidays thank you again stay creative <laughs>